हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सी सैट मंत्रा वेलकम टू डेली डोस ऑफ सॉल्व क्वेश्चन फॉर मोर सॉल्व क्वेश्चन एंड कॉन्सेप्ट प्लीज जॉइन अवर टेलीग्राम चैनल टू एनरोल इन अवर कोर्स काइंडली विजिट सी सैट मंत्रा डॉट कॉम बोथ द लिंक्स आर गिवेन बिलो इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ए सम ऑफ सेवन हंड्रेड रुपीज हैज टू बी यूज टू गिव सेवन कैश प्राइजेस टू द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ ए स्कूल फॉर देयर ओवरऑल एकेडमिक परफॉर्मेंस If each price is twenty rupees less than its preceding price, what is the least value of the price? This question is from Sequences and Series Chapter. It's asked in two thousand thirteen. We are asked to find the least value of the price. Let's assume it as A, my friends. Okay. Now, each price is twenty rupees less than its preceding price. Okay. Now its preceding price would be a plus twenty rupees, my friends. Okay, a is twenty rupees less than a plus twenty. This is clear, right? Now next price would be a plus forty. See, a plus twenty is twenty rupees less than a plus forty. Now next price would be a plus sixty. Next one, a plus eighty. Next one, a plus hundred. Next one. A plus one twenty. There are seven cash prizes only, my friends. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is clear, right? Now, if you observe, these cash prizes are in arithmetic progression or arithmetic series, my friends. Arithmetic progression means the difference between two consecutive terms. I am saying two consecutive terms. Okay. These two are consecutive terms, my friends. Okay. Again, these two are consecutive terms. So the difference between two consecutive terms is same. See the difference between second term and first term. A plus twenty minus A. It is twenty. Third term and second term. A plus forty minus A plus twenty. That is twenty. Similarly, fourth term and third term. Difference is twenty. Seventh term minus sixth term. Difference is twenty. Like this, the difference between two consecutive terms is same, my friends. Okay, so if the difference between two consecutive terms is same, then we call that series as arithmetic series or arithmetic progression, my friends. In arithmetic series, we call that difference as common difference, my friends. The difference is common between two consecutive terms. That's why we call it as common difference. We represent the common difference C D with Small d, my friends. Okay, this value is twenty here. In arithmetic progression, we represent the first term with a, my friends. Now the second term is a plus d. Common difference is d. D is twenty, my friends. Okay, a plus twenty. Now third term is a plus two d. Okay, see the common difference is d. Two d is two into twenty. A plus forty. Now fourth term would be a plus three d. See the difference is d. Three d is three into twenty. That is Sixty, my friends. Now, like this, seventh term would be a plus sixty. This is very important, my friends. See, third term is a plus two d. Fourth term is a plus three d. Now, seventh term would be a plus sixty. This is clear, right? Now, if I ask you what is n term, you would be telling me a plus n minus one into d, my friends. Okay, for n term, it is n minus one into d. Now to summarize this, in arithmetic progression, first term is a. We represent the first term as t1, my friends. Okay, first term. First term is a. Common difference is d, my friends. Okay, so common difference is d. Nth term, my friends. Okay, t n. Nth term. This is a plus n minus one into d. This is clear, right? Very simple thing, my friends. Okay. Now sum of these term, first term to nth term, okay, t1, t2 up to t n. Their sum we represent it as s n, okay. Sum of n terms. This is average of first term and last term, my friends. Okay, first term is t1, last term is t n. Now their average, okay, by two into number of terms, my friends. Okay, how many terms? N terms, okay, one to n. So there are n terms. Now the sum is given, my friends. Okay, seven hundred rupees. Sum of seven cash prizes. Okay, seven hundred. First term is a, my friends. Okay, a. Last term is a plus one twenty. A plus one twenty by two. 
नंबर ऑफ टर्म्स देर आर सेवन कैश प्राइजेस मे फ्रेंड्स ओके सेवन नाउ सेवन वन जा सेवन हंड्रेड जा दिस इज टू इन टू हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड प्लस टू ए प्लस वन ट्वेंटी मे फ्रेंड्स ओके ए प्लस ए इज टू ए नाउ टू ए इज टू हंड्रेड माइनस वन ट्वेंटी दैट इज एटी नाउ ए इज इक्वल फोर्टी दिस इज द लीस्ट वैल्यू ऑफ द प्राइज मे फ्रेंड्स ओके सो अवर आंसर इज बी now you may say that what is the need of this formula sir i can just add these seven cash prizes and equate it to 700 from that i can calculate a yes my friends but what if 100 cash prizes are given will you add all those terms no right you cannot add one by one by one okay here seven terms are present if we add them we will be getting 7a okay there are seven a's present 7a plus 120 plus 80 200 200 plus 100 300 300 plus 60 plus 40 that is 100 so 300 plus 100 is 400 400 plus 20 my friends okay so that is 420 is equal 700 Now seven a is equal seven hundred minus four twenty. That is two eighty. So a is equal forty. So the intention here is not adding manually, my friends. Okay, if I give more number of terms, you cannot add them manually, right? So in that case, you can use this formula. Sum of n terms in arithmetic progression. Okay, is average of first term and last term into Number of terms, my friends. Okay, average of first and last term is t1 plus tn by 2. Okay, t1 is first term that is a, tn is a plus n minus 1 into d by 2 because average into n, my friends. This is clear, right? Friends, don't remember this formula in terms of a's and n's. Just remember this formula like this. Okay, average of first term and last term into number of terms okay first term you know a common difference is d if these two things are known you can calculate you can find out any term my friends okay let's say tn tn is a plus n minus 1 into d if i ask t8 now that would be a plus 8 minus 1 okay 7d so eighth term is a plus 7d my friends like this you can find out any term so there is nothing to remember here there is a first term and you are adding d to every consecutive term so nth term is a plus n minus 1 into d sum of n terms okay average of first term and last term into number of terms you are adding n terms that's why you have to multiply with n my friends okay number of terms this observation you can deduce that one also my friends see 1 comma 2 they are in arithmetic progression just two terms their common difference is 1 now sum first term is 1 last term is 2 average okay by 2 into number of terms 2 2 2 gets cancelled now this is 1 plus 2 that is 3 see their sum is 3 my friends 1 plus 2 3 tally right now let's say you have 1 2 3 now sum first term is 1 last term is 3 average by 2 number of terms 3 okay 1 2 3 there are three terms so 1 plus 3 is 4 4 by 2 is 2 into 3 2 into 3 is 6 see if you add them 1 plus 2 is 3 3 plus 3 is 6 tally right so even if you forget this one okay just using simple numbers which are in arithmetic progression you can deduce this observation or this result my friends okay now i believe after 10 minutes of explaining this thing you won't be forgetting in your lifetime now just solve this problem my friends those who want to try manually you can try okay if not use the formula my friends okay average of first term and last term into number of terms here number of terms are 100 my friends okay the answer to this question will be posted at 7 pm in our telegram channel kindly check it To know more about the course kindly visit csatmantra.com if you have any queries feel free to call us or mail us thank you